right, people, so I know this episode wasn't on the list, but I mean, I was already sitting in front of my camera and my laptop anyways, and I was getting ready to go watch some of My Little Pony, so I figured I might as well record it, right? <laughs> I might as well record it. So, uh, bonus episode. Let's do it. Hey, every subscriber. You guys ready? All right, cr calm down, Granny Pony. Yep. Wait, wh wait, what's coming? There's something apples. Okay, every subscriber. Let's hope this episode is at least decent. Because it didn't make the list, so. For making that maple jam. Turn tootin'. It's time for some good old fashioned zap apple jamming. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait, ma'am. Ah. Wait for what? To make zap apple jam with you. Ah. Of course. Now I've been doing this ever since I was a little pony. So be warned, pickle pants. I don't know if I like the vibe of this episode. It's feeling like a real filler so far. For no zap apple jam. Take this. Uh, is this one of your gazillion secret herbal ingredients for the zap apple jam? That there's a broom. Now get sweeping, pipsqueak. Now while you sweep, I'll get to... Oh, pony feathers. Glad I forgot... This is gonna be a granny pony episode. I keep forgetting his name. The guy that only says yep and nope all the time. That's, I guess he's apparently a, a fan favorite somehow. Go figure, right? There's the zap apple leaf. Right on schedule. Hmm. Oh, God. Huh. I think I made a mistake reacting to this episode, people. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Well, how did you do there, filthy rich? Hello, Mrs. Smith. Did I hear right that there's a zap apple yeah. harvest coming in a few days? Money, cutie well, marks. To be exact. Excellent news. And as usual, I get your first hundred jobs. Of course, filthy. Uh, I prefer rich. Oh, and how was your happy mm. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Having to make all that zap apple jam with Granny Smith? I still don't like you. Actually, I've been looking forward to making I just felt the need to say that. Years. I'm not talking about the jam. I'm talking about Granny Smith. You must be so embarrassed. Why? Uh, what do you mean? She's amazing. You know, better than you. Alright. How she forgets things and makes you wear these ridiculous costumes. They're adorable Granny costumes. You're on the farm and not in town where every pony could see you. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Silly way. It's not a secret. Thank you, Shake a leg there, Slowpoke. We got a gaggle's worth of goods together before the harvest. So now she's gonna feel embarrassed. I know where this is going. That is like the coolest granny pony I've ever seen. Okay, I would love to have a granny pony like that. You better appreciate her, because you know what? She's not going to always be here. All right? Apple Bloom. There's nothing wrong. Oh, come on. Oh, isn't this just precious? Please stop. And it's <laughs> Please stop.
Who cares? They don't even like you. What? What? Why do you care so much about impressing people that don't even like you? I had the same complaint about you like 10 episodes ago or something. And I can see nothing has changed. Yeah, this is clearly like a filler episode, so... You know. I'm gonna talk a lot in this one because I don't care as much about paying attention to every little detail. <laughs> so, whatever. I don't think anybody cares, dude. Well, thank you, Mr. Filthy. I mean, Mr. Rich. What a wonderful day of shopping. I like Filthy better. Thank you for being a part of Family Appreciation Day. Now, uh, let's see who'll be bringing in a family member for next Monday's Family Appreciation Day. Uh, I think I know who. Oh, mm -hmm. Apple Bloom. But, Miss Cheerily, Monday is Zap Apple Harvest Day, and Applejack and Big Macintosh will be too busy to come and speak. Well, is there any pony else in your family? Yes, there is. Yes, don't don't you lie. Apple Bloom's Granny Smith is a working harvest. She could come. Oh god. But uh no, that wouldn't that's a splendid idea, Diamond Tiara. Apple Bloom, you shall bring in Granny Smith on Monday. Have a great weekend, every pony. <laughs> Granny Smith. Look at her, look at her. God, Apple Bloom! You're, you're gonna, you're gonna learn to appreciate. I'm sorry, Apple Bloom. I already told you that we just can't take a break from harvest to come to your school. You know what'll happen. You're gonna learn to appreciate her one day. That, you just better hope that that day is not when it's too late. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. He said, right, he said another word. Cool, Add wow to the vocab. Sorry, Apple Bloom, but don't you fret. We Granny getting up there. Got no shortage of entertaining stories to tell. It's like three oh, words now. That's what I'm worried about. I'll be embarrassed. Should All right, so disgrace. this looks like no Fluttershy, no Rainbow Dash, no Rarity, nobody else. None of the other main ponies. Besides Applejack. Oh, all this worry is making me sick. Sick? Ah, there's an idea. That's it. Come on. I don't like episodes that don't have most of the main ponies in it. I mean, I'm not. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't like any of them, but you know, typically they're not my favorite. Yes, ma'am. I don't, I don't think she needs food on her face to look sick. What? You look more than just sick. You look like completely diseased. Then again, you look kind of like her, <laughs> Grandma Pony. Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Huh? Now what? I don't know. I'm out of ideas. It's already almost Sunday. That was the only one I had. I got one. Look. How about you just go and stop being ashamed of Grandma Pony? How about that? Man, I could have picked a better reaction than this. 
I might have to do another one. I'm not satisfied. <laughs> it's not even over yet. I'm not satisfied. Because I, I know I'm going to go watch more episodes after this anyways. So. Go find out. Now you see, very is the answer to, 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 to that question. Very. That looks like it would hurt, no? To pull that hard on, on one of the pony's tails? I guess not. Face the music. Smith, it's Miss Cheerily. Apple Bloom said you wanted to speak with me. I guarantee you everyone is going to find her amazing. Hello. In fact, that's my prediction. You're going to eventually go, and everybody's going to love her. Desperation at this point. So what if the very realistic possibility that she wakes up during any of that? Then the whole plan is ruined, like I was saying. Uh, no. Uh, you asked me to come here to tell me that you wouldn't be making it to Family Appreciation Day? Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in Cantor lot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, See you Monday? Any other bright ideas? Really? You, you can't believe it? You, you, you knocked her head against the wall, Apple Bloom. I can't believe she didn't wake up before that. Oh, God. Oh. So how many more bad ideas are left, people? How many more? I don't know. I'm thinking if I want to react to another uh, My Little Pony after this or Adventure Time. I don't know. I don't. You need to be careful. You're too old to be taking bumps like that. My rupture or something. She'll be there. Um, Apple Bloom, is Granny Smith here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Cheerily, but she got called out of town on account of a family emergency. <laughs> uh huh. Totally didn't see that coming. Look at her; she's all happy. Howdy, yo! I'm as happy as a pig in fresh mud pie. If you weren't a little girl pony, I would have some things to say to you right now. What are you doing here? But I'm gonna be nice. Oh, just wait. She's gonna blow everybody away. Watch. I'm calling it. She's gonna be amazing. Ignore the chair thing. <laughs> She's gonna be amazing. We better get a story time? No Ponyville. 
Story time! That's right, my little ponies. Me and my family were pilgrim pony folk back when I was a little filly. Or we ventured far and wide, collecting new seeds and selling the old. But my pa was the finest seed collector in all of Westfield. Then one day, the Smith family found themselves in the most brilliant, most grand, most magnificent of all cities. A place called Canterlot. Well, I bet your hooks to hindquarters I have never seen anything like it before nor since. And as if the beauty of that city wasn't enough, suddenly she appeared. Princess Celestia, the most regal of all folks. When lo and behold, she ah. stopped to look at my pa's seed collection. Then Princess Celestia saw that we were plum tucker from the hankering to find our forever home. And being the royal princess and all, she knew exactly the place for us to lay down our stakes. My pa gave the princess a mighty thanks. <laughs> we quickly found that land in the free forest, and we built our first home. Next, we planted our first orchard. But an orchard don't grow overnight, and we were getting mighty short on food. Now, mind you, we were cautioned about the forest, and we knew that it was not fit to enter. But I knew if there was critters living there, it must be something to eat. It was dark and musty, and I won't lie, it was scary. But every inch was covered in plant life, and before I knew it, wasn't I standing in front of the most incredible apple trees? I have never seen anything that bore this kind of colorful fruit. Oh, I started Rainbow to fruit? as quick as a whip. Uh oh. Who's that? I turned and there before me stood the timber wolves. Timber wolves. I've never run so fast in my life. I bet! I did the only thing I could think of. That's it? My pa and I planted those special apple seeds and oh. before our <laughs> eyes they I was expecting something else to happen. Wow, huh. we had full grown trees faster than you could say lick at his plant! Then each year, I pay close attention to the signs of the Zap Apple special harvesting times. How the weather affects the Everfree Forest. How the timber wolves howl when the Zap Apples first start growing. And how they zapped away if you didn't pick them all in one day. And the fruits of our labor were the best fruit we ever tasted. Soon enough, I was mixing up batches of Zap Apple jam. And just like harvesting the Zap Apples had its special rules, so did making Zap Apple jam. I learned that you gotta be extra friendly with the bees, otherwise their honey won't taste right as sweet to mix in with the zap apples. I couldn't do that. Or the glass jars needed talking. I hate bees too much. Or the zap apples like pink polka dots. My honey would just never taste good. As magic does, just funny that way. Then ponies started coming to our farm from far and wide just to get a taste of my Look at that line of ponies. Some even decided to stay. Like stinking rich, diamond tiara's great grandfather. Matter of fact, the first thing he ever saw was my zap apple jam. And before we knew it, we had ourselves a nice little town, bustling with all kinds of ponies. Listen to that story. How Ponyville was founded. I, I told you. What did I say? What did I say? Tell me that wasn't an amazing, interesting story. I was like, let's settle down. So if it weren't for you and the zap apples, Ponyville wouldn't even exist. Darn tootin' little filly. That was from my granny Smith, your daddy wouldn't have barnyard bargains. Uh-huh. That was like the only part of the whole episode that I was like really into was trying to pay attention. <laughs> but she's just a kooky old lady. Oh no, you girl! How dare you? Amazing pony in all Ponyville. 
Can she like get like a suspension for like you can't just say that out loud in class, right? And get away with it, right? That was mean. Like, how dare you? Let me guess, she's gonna turn into a fan favorite one day, right? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm never gonna like her. I don't care what she does. Take a nap, sweetie. That was sorry, right, you know. It was, uh, Who wants to help Granny sing to the water? We do, we do. I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that episode was good because it wasn't. But you know. Diamond Tiara. <laughs> I enjoyed the story though. Alright. Now the question is. Another Little Pony episode, or Adventure Time. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. You guys will see soon, I guess, huh? Until next time. As if you had any doubts. Come on, come on. Can you believe the new baby is finally here? New baby? Carrot Cake must be so proud. I wonder if it's a filly or a coat. Finally, the main... The main six is in this one, so it's already better than last Our episode. Son, pound cake. Pound cake? Aww. And our daughter, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin cake? Huh? Okay, Pinky, just Shh. The babies are trying to sleep. Bring it down. Shh. Bring it down a notch. Shh. As usual, Pinky. What do you happy birthday to you and you today? Now how in thunderation is one of them twins of Pegasus and the other one a unicorn? You know, Easy. Ah. My great 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 grandfather was a unicorn, and Cupcake's great aunt, second cousin twice removed, was a Pegasus. Ah, okay. And that makes sense, right? I oh, guess. Yeah. <laughs> I won't question it. Once little Pancake there gets his wings going, he'll be all over the place. And be careful around Pumpkin Cake. Baby unicorns get strange magic surges that come and go. Quick, make a wish and blow out your candles, which is easy because there are zero candles. You are zero years old after all. <laughs> All right, every subscriber, let's do it. Another bonus episode. Happy month of birthday to you and you today. I can't believe you're already months old. Touch your voice isn't it well since I go yesterday you were born. But now you're a month old today. Hey! I love. I might still do Adventure Time though, people. I don't know yet, but I wanted to do another episode of this. For most people, Pinky, it, she's so extra. It's like, how can she not either be your absolute favorite <laughs> or your absolute least favorite? It, I mean, she's so extreme that it's, it's hard to be in between with her. You know what I mean? I say that as I don't know how I feel about her yet. I mean, I do... But I guess I am in between, so I just went against everything I just said. But I just fight with most people. I don't doubt it, Pinky. It's like sometimes I love her, and other times I just wish she would just relax a little bit. 
Kind of depends on my mood and, and what's happening in the episode. Oh, you're making funny faces. I have one. <laughs> no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burnt. Pinky is basically like a a a, 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 a a big kid herself, a big pony herself. She might as well, like, mentally. Will she ever mature or just... It, is this just like how she's gonna always be? Great cinnamon sticks! I completely forgot! No, you just fed in bottles, remember? Not the baby's food! The food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today! Oh, with the new twins, we've been so distracted. P Pinky, we need to find a babysitter to watch. Horse is gonna be Pinkie Pie. She's gonna be all over it. I want to do it. Well, the babies love playing with me. I'll do it. I wonder who would be available on such short notice. No, she just, just ignoring her. Oh my God. Oh, oh now Fluttershy would be a great babysitter. Ah. Promised Angel would go on a picnic. Hey. You understand, don't you? You're not Patience. Mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me. I'll do it. Hit me. They're not mad, Fluttershy. It's okay. I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. Oh yeah, of course. What what else could you possibly be doing it with, with your life, Twilight? Other than writing a, another letter to the princess. Babysit now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. All right, who next? Who, who's next? Um, Rarity, Dash. Ooh, I wanna do it. Why are they just ignoring her? I got tickets to the Wonder Bolts air show this afternoon. Oh. Uh, Dash. You know she can turn that down for some babysitting. One more. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. <laughs> she didn't even have an excuse. She just said no. Uh, wow. Is it, Pinkie Pie. Is she that bad? You like to babysit. Look at those eyes! I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. Cute. That was cute. Now, Pinky, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible, but responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. <sighs> but this time, you need to take care of them. Not, not just, not just with them. yeah. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. We'll see. Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsibilities. Consider it done. Uh huh. You're not doubting yourself, are you? We get there. Come on, sugar plum, tick tick. Take good care of our two precious little ginger snaps. No problem, Mr. and Mrs. Cake. Everything is under control. We'll see. A part of me trusts you, but uh, no, 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 another part of me is kind of a little bit, uh... Ah, yeah, terrified. They know. Are you really t telling stand-up jokes right now? No, 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 they don't get it because they're like a month old, Pinkie Pie. The other day, I spilled spot remover on my dog, and now I can't find it! <laughs> I don't know if they're crying because they don't get it or because the joke is so bad. I feel like it could easily go either way.
think that was actually kind of... Something about this song is, is kind of cute to me. I'm going to be honest about it, okay? It wasn't that bad. And I feel like some kids might have enjoyed it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. They, they enjoy seeing you hurt yourself. Nothing to this babysitting business. Or embarrass yourself. Keep it up. Go hit yourself with a baseball bat or something. that flower thing. I, you might want to stick with that. Yeah. I think I can see where this is going. Yeah. basically though the second episode in a row where only one of the main six is really in it for like any length of time I mean I, I don't know that's fine I guess I just you know I feel like I don't like when there's back-to-back -back episodes like that like it happens a lot I've noticed like they have back to Matt uh, back-to-back cutie mark related episodes they have back-to-back -back episodes where the main six isn't really involved you know, if they mixed it up better, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it, but... After just watching an episode without the main six all in it, I don't want to watch another one right afterwards. You know, like that again. But, uh, whatever. Whatever. I feel like all of the main six do like such a great job of um, help helping carry the show, and whenever one of them is missing, I can tell easily. Like it, it, it's it's not like. And especially when five of them are missing, you know, like maybe if just one is missing, you know, maybe two. But I don't like any of the side characters enough for them to, you know, um, to, 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 to star in the episode. And, and for me to enjoy it just as much. But I do love Pinky. But I'm miss I'm missing Rarity's present presence, Fluttershy's presence, and and Twilight and everybody else. I'm I'm missing it, people. N nothing against these baby ponies though; they're adorable. But I'm already kind of over it. What are you doing? Are they? Ah, there we go. Speaking. Yes, I was just talking about you, Twilight. I've never missed you so much. Now, open the 
so I'm guessing what, um, are we going to get more ponies to stop by and do the same thing and she kicks everybody out? Pinky's being bad cop right now. now or bad pony. You know good you know good cop uh, bad cop game? She's being bad cop. Oh, it's working. Are you serious? I was not expecting that to work. Huh. Interesting. Something has to go wrong here, right? It's not gonna be that easy. Now, that's what I call ah, yeah, I know it. <laughs> you should have accepted Twilight's help. You let your ego get in the way. Such, such a rainbow dash move right there. I think they're playing with you now, Pinky. Hmm. Ah, she can, she can fly now. That is not good. Now you really need somebody's help. I'm responsible for you. Oh no. You are officially unqualified for this job, Pinkie Pie. Chain her down too? You might have to. Could you could you couldn't help yourself, could you, Pinky? Be next to her. Oh, not you too. Well, if you look on the bright side, they're perfectly okay. They're having fun, and all, really, now who's the responsible only one? you are miserable right now. So it's not that bad. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah Pinky, did. give it up. Go call. Go call Twilight. A bad 
little ponies. Oh, oh my God, Pinky, uh, sweetheart, it's o it's okay, it's okay, okay. I'm sorry for any jokes that I said towards you in this episode. I apologize. That was very mean of me. Oh, look, look at it, look. Now they're trying to make you laugh. You know, you're right. The same that trick. That's adorable. Hmm. That was kind of sad too, but. I've always had fun playing with little kids, and I thought babysitting meant just more playtime, right? Uh, wrong. Definitely wrong. Being a caregiver is way more responsibility than just being a playmate. And today I learned that sometimes our desire for responsibility can outrun our actual ability to handle it. Yes, Pinkie definitely. Pie, we're back. How did everything go? Uh, you want the you want the shoof? Oh. Are we in the right place? <laughs> See? Pinky, this is just just Amazing is what it is. We have no idea how responsible you really are. Mm. Would you be interested in becoming our go-to babysitter? Oh no! Definitely not. Uh, let me check my schedule. I should be available a week from. Never. It's all right, Pink. Oh. Is that their first words? I have some free time next Tuesday. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome! Um... Wow. Now, okay, well... I don't want to let the ending skew my whole opinion on the... Because overall, it was, it was alright. Definitely not, you know, something I had to react to. But, come on, that was adorable, people. That was adorable. And it was a great lesson learned. But, until next time... Until next time... <laughs>